Has this made you reconsider your passion for Brexit? <laughs> uh, do you think now, mm, blimey, shouldn't have done it? No, not at all. Why? Brexit, Brexit provides a huge opportunity for the UK, both in terms of global trade, but also in terms of entrepreneurialism and the possibility for better regulation. So how does Brexit fix it for 3,500 workers and all the other businesses around the Swindon area? We're just talking about one plant well, here, but all the other ones around the Swindon area that now are in, in crisis and very, very worried this morning for well, good reason. Well, it's very sad for Swindon. Of course, Swindon has nothing to do with Brexit whatsoever. Oh, if, 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 if Honda... OK, it, well... Just let me answer the question. Okay. If Honda had actually decided that it was Brexit that was the problem, they would have relocated their plant to a country within the EU. And they haven't done that. And they're well, they also, said, they're also they closing that their... They have said that they were concerned about the future relationship Britain they're was going to have with the They're also closing their EU. plant Why? in Turkey, and Turkey is within the customs union. Mm. So Turkey has access to the European market, this so-called access. They're closing that plant as well. Just like the X-Trail mm. uh, in relation to uh, Nissan, all of this is to do with global restructuring of the auto industry because some of these companies have made bad decisions. Investing in diesel engines, for example, diesel we now know is a big problem. And uh, Honda itself is not performing very well as a company. So you can't blame Brexit, but how does Brexit help it? If Bre we're going into a Brexit future and we are losing uh, investment of this scale, yeah. What can we get instead? Well, we're bound to have this sort of thing happen all the time. We've had it through our history that companies decide to come mm. and go. And actually relying on multinationals to provide inward investment is a big mistake. What we need to do is boost the economy, the entrepreneurial part of the economy, which is the real creator of jobs and progress and innovation. How do we do that? Well, without... if, if we leave in March 2029, uh, we will have a situation where the 39 billion that we would otherwise give to the European Union can be invested in boosting UK economy. We can remove external tariffs, which the EU currently make us apply. That's taxes on stuff coming in. So we can reduce the cost of living for people, mm. particularly on food and consumer goods. That will give people more disposable income, which will further boost the economy. And because the currency is at a, a competitive value, UK manufacturing industry mm for the first time in years, is competitive around the world and can actually sell more goods, which will rebalance the economy towards the region 